Hi, my name is Alan Richardson from eviltester.com and in this video I will show you how to use the inbuilt Chrome browser functionality to emulate a mobile browser and conduct basic mobile testing using your desktop browser. We're going to use the emulation feature in Chrome. So we have to start by using the overrides in the Chrome Developer Tool setting. Let's find that. So the way I get to that is by right-clicking, doing an inspect element, and then the developer tools appear. Over here, I'll click settings. So in overrides, I have to make sure that show emulation view in console drawer is selected. Now all the emulation functionality used to exist in here, but it doesn't, so this video is going to show you how to find it. So we've got emulation clicked. Great. So now where is the console drawer? Well, if I close the settings, now in any of these tabs, in any of the developer tool windows, I can click escape, and then I'll see the console drawer. And then I can use the emulation tab. Now, this is all getting a little bit small, so we'll zoom in on the screen. So I'm going to select a device. I'm going to use the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, simply because I have a physical device of that on my desk. So if any issues happen, I can try the same functionality on my device. So I'm going to choose the device. I'm going to click emulate. And you can see that the screen refreshes to a smaller size. This is a scaled version. I can change that using the, the screen settings down here if I want to. Now I've chosen the BBC site mainly because it has mobile detection and they try and support mobile as well as they can. I'm on the home page of the BBC for a reason and I'll show you why in a minute. So even though I selected device, we don't have the mobile site yet. So I'll refresh the screen. I'll just hit Control F5. And then you can see we've been redirected to the mobile site because Chrome is now sending the correct headers for the Note 2. And now the issues. So let's try and use the site. So I'm going to click on More, which is a drop down. I should see a drop down or Sport or any of these redirections. They're not currently working. Now I don't know if that's Chrome or whether it's the BBC site, but if I change the sensors and choose not to emulate the touch screen so that mouse events are being sent, then I can start using the functionality again. Now this all works fine when I do it on my Note 2, so presumably it's some sort of Chrome compatibility emulation issue. It doesn't really matter what the root of the problem is here for us, it just shows the problem of testing through emulation. When we find suspected issues, we have to replicate them on either a better emulator or using an actual physical device. But the Chrome emulation is so convenient on the desktop that for a first run check on the site, and certainly checking how your server responds to mobile headers, this is a great first step. Now you can stop the emulation by clicking the reset button. So go back to the device, click reset, the screen refreshes, we're still on the mobile site, but if I do a refresh now, Control F5, we're back on the main BBC site. And as a bonus, if you've watched the video this long, I'm going to show you what I thought was an emulator bug. But it seems to be a BBC functionality by design or possibly a bug, who knows. I was going to do this demo on the weather page because this is the UK and all we talk about is the weather and I wouldn't have to worry about any contentious news showing up. But when I start on the weather page and set up emulation and do a refresh, I'm not redirected to the mobile site. Now I recreated this on my phone and when I visit www bbc.co.uk slash weather, I see the desktop site. There is no redirection to the mobile site. So what I thought originated from a Chrome bug turned out to stem from the BBC. They only redirect you when you're on the main homepage. Is that an issue or a feature? I don't know. You decide. But Chrome emulation is a very easy way to run a first check on the site if you know how to access the functionality for the emulation, which you do now. For more references, check out our related blog post and subscribe to the channel to receive announcements of any more videos that we add.